Here's a rubber band powered float plane. You can make the floats using some styrofoam packing material. I got this piece out of a, a set of computer components and basically I'm going to cut uh, two pieces that are seven inches long, a half an inch uh, thick and uh, one inch wide. Uh, again we're making two of those for the two pontoons and we're going to sand the front of the entryway into the water uh, so that it's a little smoother like this and offers less resistance when it starts to get up on top of the water. Um, then you're going to use uh, some stir sticks, some coffee stir sticks. Uh, the, the ones in the front measure four and a half inches, the one in the back uh, four and a quarter. This is the brackets that you make similar to the ones on the straw and stir stick ski plane which is one of our other videos uh, and you'll hot glue those onto the brackets um, all four of them and also hot glue the uh, rear bracket onto the fuselage you'll notice too that I've used three rubber bands uh, which increases the power quite dramatically just watch the tension you don't want to break the fuselage and find yourself a large puddle to take off from and maybe if you're lucky enough you'll come back down into one. We weren't this time. <laughs>